welcome to A Talk With Armani. I am your host, Armani Amon. This is the show that takes you behind the scenes and in front of the screen of all different types of productions. Whether it's a feature film, a brand new TV show, or writing a book, I introduce you to those powerhouses that make those productions work. Make sure you stay tuned as I bring to you my first guest. Welcome to A Talk With Armani. So, of course, you know I like to bring you interesting people each and every week, people you can relate to and people that can encourage you, either behind the scenes, in front of the screen, or, you know, everyday people that just has a fabulous story to tell. But today, I have the pleasure of having a beautiful person, a talented person, and an inspirational person. Please help me welcome Miss Shay McRae. Hi. Hello. Hello. That you look so nice pretty. Introduction. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. So, and I'm, of course, you know, you do introductions all the time. Uh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, hey, this is Shay McCray coming to you from this red carpet, that red carpet, the black carpet, green carpet. You're just all over the place. I'm all over the place. Oh, my gracious. So how is that for you? Oh, wow. Um, it's a lot. Um, you know, it's fun. That's what mm -hmm. I do. I love to entertain. I love to make people laugh, okay. as I see you do as well. Yeah. Um, and that's just my thing. I love to provide mm -hmm. great energy. I feel like I have that. Mm -hmm. So if I can leave anybody with anything, it's just just, you know, a positive note, great energy, and a smile. That's that's my goal. I mean, it's a lot, <laughs> but it is. I mean, you have to be that person. Yes. You have to, because people are coming on from all different walks of life, yes. and they've got all kinds of stories. But you know, the other thing is, we don't know what happened to them five minutes before they got here. So they might just be like, you know, I don't really want to do this. I really <laughs> wanted to cancel. And it's like, oh, I got to bring them up out their shell and talk to them and get them to open up. Exactly. So, and it's, sometimes it can be difficult. Sometimes you got people that get on, and and they'll just talk, 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 talk. And then you got other people, it's like, well, how did you get started? In school. Right? Well, <laughs> sir, what, what, what school was it? <laughs> what was going on there? Like, can you help me out? Give me something. Like, where are you from? United States. Okay, you know what? We'll be right back. Because exactly. I <laughs> or even getting their name right. I know yeah. one time, um, and I'll say this, we could laugh about this now, um, Cristal. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, obviously, you know, from oh, Players yeah. Club. And right. I was at the uh, one of the awards, and... I said her name wrong. Oh, wow. And I was like, okay, did she just lay me out? Like, wow. okay, I don't know your name. But, right. no, but um, then I met her again mm -hmm. and um, at the Legendary Awards, and I was like, Miss Cristal, and she was like, are you my best friend? You know my name. And I was <laughs> like, girl, you laid me out last time. Right. I had to get it right. Well, you so. know what? It's so funny, because the same person, Cristal, she um, <laughs> came, when I first came down to Atlanta, she auditioned mm -hmm. for my movie. Okay. And I saw her face, and I was trying to picture I was trying to remember, like, where do I know her from? Where do I know her from? And then somebody came in and was like, do you know Ronnie is in the, <laughs> in the waiting room? <laughs> and I'm like, Ronnie, who, what, what are you talking about? She just left out of here. I said, no, yeah. her name is uh, Chris Dawson. Yeah. That's Ronnie yeah, from the Yeah, she gets it all the time. <laughs> That's, they, no one knows her name. It's, right. it's Ronnie right. from Players Club. I mean, she she played that part well. Yeah, I mean, it's Shoot. memorable, so that's cool Very. to her. Exactly, you know what I mean? So right? good job, Chris <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, but again, I mean, in our profession, and you do it very, very well. I mean, Thank I've you. seen some of the things that you've done, seeing you on some of the carpets, and it's just like, you are part of it. You are, it's, it's a natural. Thank and that's you. part of getting people to feel at ease and to, you know, to get them to open up to you because they have to know or believe that you know what you're talking about exactly. and you're not going to put them in a negative light. Exactly. Because that's the worst thing in the world, to Ooh. have someone that don't know what they're talking about trying to interview you about you. What, exactly. Sir, huh? Exactly. <laughs> right? So, you so try to tell get me, what's one of the most interesting projects you've done so far? Ooh, most interesting. Um, well, my to my most memorable um, interview to this day was, um, and what touched me and when I knew I was crossing over to the next level okay. was um, Sugar Hill Gang. Okay. And the reason why, because my parents were big fans of them. Absolutely. And here, and here it is, I'm sitting on a couch at mm -hmm. an exclusive um, you know, location mm -hmm. interviewing the original Sugar Hill Gang. Wow. And I was like, wow, okay, this is it. So now, of course, I see a lot of celebrities, mm -hmm. you know, it's like here and there, but th that moment, mm -hmm. it's just, it stuck with me. Wow. You know, they're the originators. They paved the way for hip-hop for, for the rest of them. So it was like, 
that was it for me. Wow. <laughs> Did you yeah. take a lot of pictures and shit? Um, I took a lot of pictures. Um, they fell in love with me. I knew nothing about them. Okay. My producers happened to be, um, you know, older, and they were helping me and, like, pitching me, telling me what to say, and, mm -hmm. and I learned a lot um, okay. about them behind that, you know, so mm -hmm. it was just, it was amazing. And that's amazing. part of the process, you yes. know what I mean? <laughs> Continuously being receptive to learning. Yes. Because you have to. You don't know. We, we go on to interview someone. Has that happened? You've gone on to talk about one thing, and they start talking about something totally different. Like, it's like, okay, I knew you were in the movie, but I didn't know about yes, this. Yes, I get that a lot. You yeah. know, so what I do is I pre-interview first. I, I Actually, I really don't like the pre-interview um, because I like first reaction. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. Um, so what I'll do is I'll say, hey, what else do you write? Do you read? Do you know?" And I'll say that because what, a lot of times I find that if you get to talking to them, they mm -hmm. do other things. They just don't right. care to talk about that. Absolutely. But if you talk to them a little bit, they'll talk about it a little bit. Right. With, with so what you. else do you do? Oh, boy, what else do <laughs> I do? <laughs> well, of course, you know, I have the Shade McCray Show on 106 Live. Absolutely. Com, as well as TST Network that airs on Comcast every Thursday night. Okay. Midnight. Okay. Um, Congratulations. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so you all over the place on the yes. airways, on the television yes. screen, on the red carpet. Look at you. Well, my goal really was um, TV. Okay. Um, and they kept pressing me, you need to do radio. And I'm like, for what? I want to be seen. I, I dress right. up. I look fabulous. Why right. Not? Right. You know, Why not? Let everybody see me on this. camera. Yeah. You know? right. So they was like, um, no, try it, try it. So I went into training and I did it. And actually that took me a little further than the TV. So I was like, wow, this is kind of Dope. I love yeah. it. So I have a very big project coming up shortly. Okay. Um, ooh, a very big project. So you guys will be looking out. I am partnering with um, another young lady on a radio show. Okay. So um, not sure if I can even say it right now, All but right. I'll, maybe I'll come back and we can talk about you yes, have us both definitely. here at that time. But Absolutely. It's, it's really we will big. definitely. Yeah, we, yeah, we definitely <laughs> want you back. Definitely. And we want to follow you. So tell me, how do we follow you? How do we stay up to date on the things that are going on with you? So it's Shay McCray on um, everything. S H A Y M C C R A Y. Mm -hmm. um, do that's Facebook, Facebook, um, Twitter, everything, Instagram. Everything. I'm also an actress as well. Okay, yeah. Um, just came out in the hills that just dropped on Amazon. By, right. I'm um, Steven Stick Josie, so mm -hmm. shout out to him. Um, great reviews on that. Um, I'm in New York right now filming for Praise, uh, another mm -hmm. film by wow. Thomas Tigers. I'm also in another film by, on Trade by KL Allen, where okay. we're at over a million hits right now on YouTube. Okay. Um, I'm also in the process of filming um, No Reason by Carla Sanders. Okay. Um, so that's, I think also Mimi is, um, Mimi Feist or Foss is, uh, um, oh, I can never get her name right. See, I'm bad yeah, with Faust. names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, I got so many projects, but yeah, so I'm working, I'm, I'm really, I'm a working, working actress as well. So okay. I have a lot going on with yeah, that. Yeah. So we're going to check you out on your Instagram <laughs> and we're going to make sure we put a link on www.talkwithourmoney.com yes. so we can follow her, see what's going on with her and we can see your film projects, yes. see, you know, see when you're going to be on the radio. <laughs> see when you're going to be on television. See when you're going to be on the red carpet. Yes. We might get a magic show going. I mean, this lady is doing it all. And we want to continue to support you. Thank you so all right. much. And you have to come back. I'm coming back. All right? Yes. <laughs> we'll be right back. You're watching A Talk With Our Minds. Welcome to A Talk with Armani. So, of course, there's all different types of production, as I say constantly over and over again. But I think one of our most important productions is the production that we make in our life or of our life what we decide to do with it, whether or not we decide to pursue our goals and our dreams and work for ourselves or work for somebody else, we have to make sure that we're happy and secure in our life. And part of that is taking care of ourselves. So my next guest is going to show you how being a youth coach and a boxing instructor and overall fitness can also help improve the quality of your life. Please help me welcome Mr. Jermaine. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. Thank so you. do you just go by Jermaine or? Well, my name is Jermaine X Burgess. Okay. Um, Burgess was my name, and then I took on the name X okay. to relinquish the Burgess. After I did the history on Burgess, I found out that that name wasn't akin to me and my people and okay. where I come from. So I'm choosing the name X until I replace that name with a last name that's befitting of me. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. So so right now, if we were to say, what's your first and last name? We just gonna put Jermaine X. X like okay. Malcolm. 
Okay, like Malcolm. And go. I see that you have your, now what is this called? This is a crown. This okay. comes from my brother-in-law. He actually has a company out in Oakland uh, mm -hmm. called Musa Hill. And Musa um, Hill. a lot of people are, are catching wind of his movement. Mm -hmm. He's on uh, Instagram as 19 Keys. Okay. And in light of supporting my brother-in-law, I got on this crown. Normally I wear a crown, but it's invisible. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, yeah. that's cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so you are a boxing instructor. Yes, what exactly does that mean? You teach people how to box? I teach people the teachable moments of boxing. Okay. Um, and the teachable moments of boxing build confidence. It builds work ethic. It builds a more empowered self. And that's what I discovered in the training and when I found myself going through that evolution of being in the process of boxing and learning mm -hmm. these teachable moments, I seen how it was a business and how I could help a lot of other people do the same thing. Now, when you say these teachable moments, what are you talking about exactly? Dealing with adversity. Okay. I mean, when you get in the ring, even just to execute a pad combination, um, most of my classes are no-hit classes, but even to stand up under the spotlight and execute a pad combination, you have to have a level of confidence and a level of discernment to stand there and do that. Okay. And some people just don't have that. Mm -hmm. And I can see how working through these motions in boxing can help people refine those skills and apply them to everything they do. Wow. My brand is a fighter for life. A fighter for life. Yes. Okay, how did you get involved with this? Um, just, I decided I wanted to get some mental discipline. And I said one of the best ways to get some mental discipline would be to submit myself to boxing training and actually handle myself well in the ring. Okay, okay. And in discovery of that, I found that, hey, I was pretty good at that. But I'm not the type of person who likes to go in the ring and beat people down. I like to build people up. So training just took natural. It was an opening. It was an availability in the gym that I was training in. Uh, my head trainer, he was very busy, and he needed help with the fighters. And mm -hmm. I just kind of filled that spot, and I fell in love with it. Okay. So, but also part of your, of your, of what you do is youth coach. Now, tell me how you introduced that. Well, I'm a youth coach at the Cato Boxing Club. Okay. Um, I have many students. Um, I see students from all walks of life, mm -hmm. all levels of comp confidence, um, all levels of discipline, okay. some good, some bad. But sure enough, as they come into the program, I see all of them um, improve. Okay. And that's what it's all about, just seeing the improvement in the children, watching them grow, watching them do good, being a big brother to them, mm -hmm. asking how they doing in school and, you know, encourage them to do better and when they see that somebody cares about them that's when they perform best and that's what I've noticed about children. Of course, of course, mm. of course. So with everything that you've done and I see it's a lot of encouragement and this is because but this also reinforced your own personal beliefs. This by teaching and encouraging and coaching others does that help you with your self-discipline and in keeping yourself, you know, your internal self grounded? Absolutely. Um, I really believe to teach is to learn. And when you teach somebody, and everybody's different, and I'm very attentive, mm -hmm. and I pay attention to the details, and I notice how when I teach this person with these sets of attributes, how it can help refine me to teach somebody who's just a little bit different with a different set of attributes. Okay. And it makes me holistically better okay. teaching people and also just striving to be a good light in a, in a a light of encouragement in such a dark time is right. very important to me. It definitely is. Yes, it yes, definitely yes. Is. So well, thank you so much. Thank you for coming on thank the show you for having and me. sharing your yeah. light. And we want to follow you. Tell me, how do we follow you? How do we get dip into that big basket of encouragement that you're toting around? How do we do that? Uh, first, turn to God. Mm -hmm. He's number one. He right. will give you the power, not me. Right. And then um, after that, you can follow me on Instagram. And okay. you can uh, check me out at A Fighter for Life. A fighter for a life. A fighter for life. And a fighter for life is one who never stops fighting for what they believe in, one who always fights for what is right. Absolutely. And he'll also be on the website, www.atalkwitharmani.com, and you will see his information, and you can click on it and go further into it and follow him and find out some stuff that he got going on. You're fighting at, you coach at the Decatur Boxing Club, Decatur right? Boxing Club. That's yep. downtown Decatur area. All right. Well, Please, thank you again for coming us. on. Thank you. We'll be right back. You're watching A Talk With Our Minds.
Welcome to A Talk with Armani. So, of course, I always start out with a wonderful introduction of the type of person that I have with me. But who is sitting on my couch today is an old friend. And he's done all kinds of things since we've met. I mean, he's done plays, he's done TV shows, he's done all kinds of songs. I mean, he's got a whole lot of stuff going on. So I need to make sure that we get all the time with him. So I'm going to just go right into it. Help me welcome Mr. Ray Lavender. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Armani. Welcome back. Hey, I love being back. Oh, I know. And you're so busy. Like, the only reason why it took you this long to get back is because of how busy you are. Yes, yes. They I using mean, you got me. a lot of stuff going on. Ain't nobody using you. You enjoy it every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about they using you. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, Armani. Okay, so, okay, we got to talk about Tyler Perry. You just yes. did, what was that, Hell, Woman he Scorn? Hell hath that? no fury like a woman scorn. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. I play the good guy this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. So, I'm, I'm the good husband. I, okay. I married Anita's um, um, sister. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm married into the family. Okay. And this guy, the bad guy, mm -hmm. comes in into this, this, this uh, family and just tries to take Anita's money. Oh. And me, the good guy. Right. Even though that's my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. I don't want to see my wife all mad and crying and crazy. So okay. the good guy gonna step in and, oh, uh, and then try do to what offset he got to some do. of that. Yeah, I know that's mm -hmm. right. Well, that's wonderful. And now you and you also have a show on Amazon. Correct? I do. I now do. Tell me about Amazon. Oh, uh, so I got a call from Greg Galloway, mm -hmm. and he said, "Hey, I got Q Parker." Clifton Powell. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, you can stop. Whatever this is, I'm in. What, okay. What's happening here? Absolutely. So it's a, it's, a, it's a TV series called Music and Murder. Okay. And I play an attorney. Oh, okay. Yes, I play an attorney in this, and I can, uh, uh, an attorney that can sing. Yeah, a singing attorney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, <laughs> so not too far away from, from right? my character, but mm -hmm. Q is a, a record executive that's dating this, this young lady. Okay. And she comes for my help as an attorney, an entertainment mm -hmm. attorney. Mm -hmm. And I just, me and this young lady hap just so happen to hit it off, and mm -hmm. she's Q's girlfriend. Oh. And that's, dun, 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 dun. and that's where it starts, oh. the love triangle. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think Q gonna kill me. I'm not sure of that. Yeah, because it is music and murder. Yeah, so but, but they don't. I haven't seen all the sides. Absolutely. But they think they slick, cause right. cause Q getting a little too too crazy in this. Episode. He angry. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I you kill. just singing her away. Yeah, I kill me too. Right. <laughs> 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 if you. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. So, okay, now we got the movie, we are on Amazon, but then we always have been in the studio. Yes, matter of fact, as soon as I leave here, I'm going back. I got a, a bunch of um, things that's come across my plate. I'm working with Missy. Mm -hmm. Now that's a, 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 a Wonderful. God's gift, because right? I'm all I'm a big Missy fan. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And um, then I'm working with Case. Case is back in the studio working. Okay. And of course. You doing your Ray truly, Lavender, Ray Lavender, Lavender yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. just dropped the song. I did. Okay. I did. I did. I remade "Piece of My Love." Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a guy fan and and okay. and, and uh, Blackstreet fan, so okay. I, I, I redid "Piece of My Love." It sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you do say so yourself, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I did I Like, okay. which is my probably one of the favorite guy records I've ever heard in my life. So okay. Probably my favorite. So mm -hmm. I did that, and I went teamed up with Lil Scrappy. Lil Scrappy? No, wait a minute. What is Scrap. So what is Scrappy doing? He vocalizing? No, oh, Scrap okay. ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. the homie, though, man. Right, I, okay. I love He's very talented. Okay. It, uh, when you hear his new stuff, you're going to see that um, he's swaying away from the old Scrappy, the nook mm -hmm. if you buck guy. Okay. Um, he's uh, he's grown up now. Okay. Loving hip-hop has grown him up a little bit, and, um, you know, if that even sound right. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but I'll let you go ahead and be you. You go ahead and be great with that, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but, but I feature him on I Like It, and it sounds oh, amazing. That, that's, that's the next single, yeah. So he dropped a couple bars. He did. He, oh. he he sounds he sounds good. And then you just come in with the vocals. You know, I I you know, I do what I can do. Yeah, okay. You know well, you got to send that to me. I got to I got to preview that. I okay. got to premiere it and then preview. I'm a preview it then premiere it. You know I got you, girl. Okay. So, you've got some charities going on. You do some philanthropic work. So, tell me about what's going on. You have something that involving your daughter? Yes, man. I love my daughter so much. Golly. Okay. So, her name is Tamia Elise Lavender. Mhm. Mm um uh, without taking all the time up, because I could talk about her forever. Children's of Atlanta Hospital, mm -hmm. um, they saved my baby. Okay. So she had uh, two weeks um, after she got home, she had a, a heart condition. 
Mm -hmm. um, um, it wasn't grown, her heart stems wasn't grown in fully all the way, so she wasn't getting blood to the lower part of her body. Okay, okay. So she was dying. My daughter was dying. So okay. Children's Health Care of Atlanta, they, we took her there, um, oh, uh, and they, they airlifted her um, to Children's Health Care. She was at Scottish Rite. Okay. And they airlifted her. Um, those doctors over there did amazing. Um, I kept, I was wondering why the doctor kept saying, the baby, the baby is this, the baby's gonna go through this. And I was like, hey, bro, mm -hmm. my baby's name is Tamia. Mm -hmm. And he said, listen, man, cause I'm crying and I'm, you know, doing the, mm -hmm. you know, the daddy thing. And he said, listen, man, I can't take these kids home with me. I'll be crying right. just like you every night. So I got it, I understood, but he said, but Tamia's gonna be fine, right. okay? I was good with that. Tamia is, Seven years old, running wow. around the house right now. Wow, and that is amazing. Golly, man! So I give back to them every time I can. Mm -hmm. They, I owe them. I owe them my life. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, I'm gonna I'm continue to to help that. Wow. Yeah. That is absolutely wonderful. So we want to follow your movement. We yeah. want to we want to make sure that we check out your series, Music and Murder. Music and Murder. We want Amazon to root for Prime. you not to get killed. If I get killed, I promise to Jesus. What? <laughs> we gonna come back and harder everybody. All right, out. right. <laughs> You're just gonna see you peeking up in seas. Right, like, I should well, put wait it a minute, in. what he dead? Come on. <laughs> Why he's wait, wait a minute? Is that him sitting on the couch? I should have put it in. Not even scripted in. You just sitting there. Right, like, right, no, right. I refuse to die. <laughs> you know what? It's it's fun though. It's right. fun working with Q Parker mm -hmm. um, from 112. Mm -hmm. I grew up loving that group. Right. So now me and him being, you know, yeah. going against At each, each other. other. Yeah. Hey man, and you got his girl. It's amazing. And he talked all that song, all that trash about him keeping his girl. And you I got, got her. her. I know that's right. <laughs> so how? <laughs> so how do we follow you? You can follow me, uh, Ray Lavender, on mm -hmm. IG, on mm -hmm. Instagram, Ray Lavender, mm -hmm. R A Y L A V E N D E R, okay. and I'm always on that. I'm on Twitter at the Real Ray L. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, and um, I, I just posted what we doing. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> sure. We'll be right back. You're watching A Talk With Our Mind. Welcome back to A Talk With Armani. So part of any type of production or anything is always wardrobe and is always branding. And when you have the opportunity to combine both of them, that usually turns out to be a wonderful thing. I have with me the master of this. Please help me welcome Lotto from Triple OG Brand. Yeah! <laughs> so Triple OG. Yes, yes. Explain to me how you came to that. Uh, Triple OG just come from me doing music. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I was an artist before known as Street Lotto. Okay. And uh, I had a song called Triple OG. Okay. And uh, when the guy sent back the mix for the song, it read O-O-O-G. And I thought that was a dope name to write, Absolutely. Triple OG. So I put out T-shirts mm -hmm. to support the song, mm -hmm. and the T-shirts became a brand. Four years later, here we are. Wow. I, you got yeah. more than T-shirts. You've oh, got yeah, some yeah. sweatsuits, yeah. some running suits, yeah. some jackets. Yeah. I mean, you've got hoodies up here. you got a whole bunch of stuff up here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then on your business card, it says earned, not earn, given. That's earn, your stripes. Earned, not given. Yeah, official. Yeah, earned, okay. not given. Everything we do has earned, not given on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like the premise we stand on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta get in there and work for what you want. You got to get in there and make your brand yourself. You can't just, you know, allow somebody to give it to you. You have to earn it. Absolutely. Like, I think the worst thing ever created was the microwave. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? It make everybody think you're supposed to get something right here, it's right now. It's right. Right, and so they ain't thinking a certain way. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I always say, your mentality is your reality. Uh -huh. So the way you thinking is what manifests, and you know what I'm saying? That's basically what we running on now with the brand. Okay. It's a meaning, it ain't just, it's not a, just a brand, it's a lifestyle. Right, right. Yeah. And you, and so Triple OG, that, tell me if somebody, because you know, a lot of times in the street, we say mm -hmm. OG, that means, you know, old head or old gang or whatever, you right. know what I mean? Now we're talking about Triple OG, so right. that's somebody that's well seasoned in what they're doing. Tell me, when you think about that, when, when the youngsters. Check that card out. Okay, tell me what that card says. Say. Triple OG is wisdom. Yeah. Okay, break that down for me. Come on, let's go, let's expand. Yeah, all we got to do is keep going, because okay. this is right. It says it's wisdom. 
wisdom acquired through experience, struggle, endurance, and setbacks. A triple OG has stayed the course through all its ups and downs, never giving up on his or her dreams, passions, or goals. A triple OG is one that is a shining example to those ahead of them, beside them, and the ones to come. Three times great, three times genius, three times grand. To be labeled as a triple OG means you earn the respect to represent the triple OG. I brand. know, that's right. That is yeah. absolutely yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So do you get one of these cards with every purchase? Everything. Because I, <laughs> I don't want nobody to get it twisted. Right. You know what I'm saying? What it's about. See, really what we're supposed to do is take what's meant for bad and make it good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. that's always what you're supposed to do. Of course. So you, tra you take something like Triple OG and you turn this into the omnipotent opportunities of God. You know what I'm saying? So you you, you have a platform to stand on that still is edge and racy so that you could communicate. Wow. This is absolutely... And you said that was omnipotent. Omnipotent. Okay, omnipotent. That means all-knowing. All-knowing. Opportunities. Okay. Oh. Uh, God. Yeah, yes, sir. Well, yes. this is wonderful, and we want to follow you. Now, do you have a store? Is all this custom made to order? Do we hit you up on Instagram and we get it? How do we uh, get it? So, so we all online right now. So um, it's www.oogbrand.com, uh, okay. and then and then all my Instagrams is at Street Lotto and at Oog Brand. Okay. And before we get out of here, I brought you something. Wow, gifts! I love so gifts. Check, right? check, check, <laughs> check this out. We got you. Uh, oh. I'm this a triple OG. Yeah, Look at this. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Triple OG brand. It is my favorite color red. Yeah. I love it. We, Thank we, you we, so much. We even took it a step further, though. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? I want you to show this thing off right here. Oh, wait. I got you. That oh. was a Triple OG international patch right there. Oh, make sure you got to get this because this is wonderful. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. Mm, we threw the pants with it, too, now. Uh, See, yeah. see, I got gifts. It's Christmas that's, that's, in July. Uh, that's how you this do is that. absolutely that's wonderful. You Thank yeah. you so much. So I'm yeah. dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. You ready to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the survival pack. Yes, I do. Thank <laughs> you so much. And we're going to follow you, and you'll be on www.talkwithourmoney.com. There'll be a link so that you can get to the website, so that you can be able to purchase some of these things. If there are some things that you would like to, for you know, do more, say less, or whatever, you have a catchy slogan that you want on your Triple OG brand or your earn, you know, earn not giving brand. Hit them up. And so he can place your order for you and get you your items. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right it. back. You're watching A Talk With Our Mind. Welcome back to A Talk With Our Mind. So I had a full show today, and just when I was about to close the room, look who jumped up. I popped up. <laughs> So please, first of all, let's say warm hello to Dennis Ellen. L -A -Y, okay. Yes. Yeah, you saying, where do I know him from? You know him from Notorious. You know him from being D Rock, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, Biggie's friend that went to jail for him in Notorious. Uh, and I just did a movie called uh, Last Night at GJ Saved My Life. Oh, so okay. With, uh, Andy Stone, mm -hmm. Omar Gooding Jr., Cisco Reyes, Jasmine Burt. Uh, incredible story. So he's popping up everywhere. Yeah. He's popping up on the movies. He's popping up in, on television. Anyway. He's popping up everywhere. He popped up here <laughs> just so he can come and say, hey. And also, we can tell you, even though life may take you in one direction yeah. or another direction, it takes a lot of hard work. You yeah, agree? Yeah, definitely. That's why I teach. I have a class. It's called At Like You Know. So it's at like you know org, And I teach actors how to be in the business. Right. Not just in front of the camera, but their business-wise. Exactly. So you can be not only in front of the screen, but also behind the yeah. scene. And that you can make what you might think is a dream become a career. Yes. All righty. Well, thank you so much again for joining me, and thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Of course. I'm coming back. Okay, definitely. You don't know when I'm going to pop up. I'm yeah. going to pop up on you. The pop-up king. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs>